Welcome back to Quick Easy Veg, and welcome back to Instant Pot Saturdays. Hard-boiled eggs. There's a lot of different ways to make them, but what I've found with the Instant Pot is you can make them, and they come out perfectly every single time. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a cup of water to the bottom of the Instant Pot. And next, we'll put the rack in the bottom of the Instant Pot. This is one that I bought specifically for eggs, but if you don't have one of these, you can use the rack which came with the Instant Pot, although you'll probably only be able to put three or four eggs on it. This unit will hold up to 13 eggs. If you don't have one of these egg racks, I'll put a link to the one that I bought from Amazon in the show notes. Once all the eggs are in place, let's put the lid on. With the lid in place, let's make sure that the valve is set to sealing. And let's turn on the pressure cook option. We want to have it set for five minutes. Once we've got that set, we just stand back. And the Instant Pot turns itself on. Once the Instant Pot comes up to pressure and the timer starts to count down for five minutes, what we're going to want to do is set another timer for 10 minutes. This will allow for five minutes of cooking and five minutes of it sitting in pressure. At the end of that five minutes, we're going to open up the valve and release the steam. You can tell it's been five minutes since it stopped cooking by the L that appears before the number. That lets you know how many minutes it's been since it stopped the cooking time that you set for it. The best way to release the pressure is to place a towel over the valve and then open it. This way the steam dissipates out underneath the towel and it's a lot less dangerous for yourself and for any cabinets that might be sitting above your Instant Pot. After there's no more steam coming out and the pin is dropped, you can open up the Instant Pot. In the meantime, while it's been cooking, the best thing to do is prepare a bowl of water with ice and slowly and carefully drop each of the hard-boiled eggs into that water. Once you've got all the eggs out of the Instant Pot and you've got them in the bowl all covered with the water, you want to make sure that the water's still cold and that they're all covered and are able to move around so that they all chill equally. If the water isn't cold enough, you can always put it in the sink and run some cold water into the bowl as well. You want to be able to leave the eggs in the cold water for at least 10 minutes. When I've talked to people who eat a lot of hard-boiled eggs, they all tell me that steaming them makes the shells come off so much easier. And with the Instant Pot, it's very true. With the Instant Pot, the eggs come out perfect every single time I've made them. The whites are just right, and the yolks are not that overcooked, either hard or green texture you can sometimes get with hard-boiled eggs. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'd love to hear from you about how you make hard-boiled eggs, especially if you use it in the Instant Pot and do it differently than this recipe. We'd also love to hear from you with ideas about what we can cover in future videos for Instant Pot or for any of our other plant-based videos. Thanks again. We'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. We'd appreciate a thumbs up, and we'd especially appreciate to hear from you with what you thought of the video.